Hello there Dommy and welcome back to another video and today's another news roundup show I've been doing them in the past few weeks because this is mainly just to do with Aberdeen transfer news because the season's over now I can't really do match build up shows, match reaction shows or anything so this is just an extra show that you'll get it's a news roundup show so it's basically just to do with Aberdeen transfers and news that's coming through the club and what's going to be happening in the next few days so, a bit of unexpected news coming through today is that Gary McHagg Stephen could be leaving the Dons to go to Portsmouth. And this is, as I said, really unexpected. I didn't see this coming. You know, I think there was there was news speculating him in January going to New York, but why would you go to Portsmouth? You know, you're well, not I wouldn't say guaranteed, but you're almost not certain, I think, but likely to get the European football at Aberdeen every season, and then you're going to go down to some English League One side. I don't see the point in that. And this has been happening too much to us over the past, losing our good players down to go down to lower league English sides. I don't know what's the excitement about it, because Aberdeen, we're a big club, we're fighting for European football every single season, but yet players just want to keep on going down south just to play for lower league sides. So it's it's really confusing for me. So I just, I, I don't see why Gary mckay Stephen should be going down to Portsmouth because I think that he would do better up here because Gary mckay Stephen was one of our best performers earlier on in the season, in the first half of the season before he got injured in the cup final against Celtic. So yeah, it's it might just be all hot air, I don't know, but it's looking likely because the, even the Express reported it and they're normally not wrong with their transfers. And it's been reported that he's going to have a medical there later on this week. So, yeah, that's the news coming out of the club today that Gary mckay Stephen could be leaving for Portsmouth. So let me know down in the comments what you think of that rumour. So now moving on to other news, which is the Europa League first qualifying round draw is tomorrow. So I just want to talk about the Europa League qualifying draw. I don't think it's right that Scottish teams have to go through four full rounds of two-legged games just to get into the Europa League. Like, you don't have that in many other leagues, really. Not any of the top leagues, certainly. But I know Scotland isn't one of the top leagues in Europe, but I still don't think it's fair for anyone to have to go through four full qualifying rounds just to get into the Europa League. So I just I really don't agree with that. I think that that could be handled a whole lot better by UEFA. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of that. So now moving on to the teams that we could actually get in the first qualifying round. So we could get sorry, I'm really not good at pronouncing these names because they're all, because some most of them are foreign teams and I don't really know how to pronounce them. So we could get Lepija, Lepija from Latvia. We could get Lavadia, Tallinn. From Estonia, we could get Barry Town, I can say that, from Wales, or Cliftonville from Northern Ireland. I think they've still got to play a preliminary round, which I think is even more stupid. And then I think the other team is St Patrick's from Republic of Ireland. We could play them as well. We could play Rops from Finland. We could play KI from the Faroe Islands. Or we could play Tria Fori from San Marino. So... Yeah, not many teams are new there, so obviously we could play a Welsh team, we could play a Northern Irish team, we could play a Republic of Ireland team. So I think that, to be honest, I know it's called European, but I'd actually rather play a British team, because I think I just know more about them, and it'd be easier, it'd be an easier to get to, certainly for the fans, for an away day, and certainly I could probably, it'd be easier for me to get to the match if it was in Britain, certainly. So I'd prefer, I'd prefer that if it was in Britain, so we don't have to trek all the way over to Estonia or Latvia or somewhere like that. So, yeah, I'm not necessarily saying that the British teams are easier, but I think it's easier to get to, especially for the fans. So, what, what, I th I, in my opinion, this isn't me being arrogant or anything, but I think we're the best team there out of those seeded teams. I think we're the best, and teams should fear us. I think when they're seeing their name pull out to the draw, I don't think any of them should be wanting Aberdeen because I think we're the best team there. You know, this could come back for me. We could maybe go out in the first qualifying rank of someone. But personally, for me, I think we're the best team there. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments who you'd want to have in this, um, well, just in this Europa League first qualifying round draw. 
I think that I'd rather have the second leg at Pathology because well, it can work both ways because the first leg, if you have it at Pathology, you know, you could try and go a, a goal or two up and try not to concede an away goal and then go over there and defend and try and score an away goal. But if you're going it the other way round, you could try and bring an away goal back to Pathology and just try and win, win the game at Pathology. So there's lots of different ways you could try and beat teams over two legs. So, yeah, hopefully... Um, well, Aberdeen can get a British team. So, yeah, I'll be doing a reaction video to the Europa League draw, which you can expect to probably go up the same day you're seeing this, because you're probably seeing this on the Tuesday morning, and there'll probably be a reaction video going up either the Tuesday night or the Wednesday morning. So, yeah, you'll get that to look forward to, which will be me reacting. So, one season review video left. I just uploaded my player ratings review yesterday, so go and check that one out if you haven't seen it already. So one more video reviewing the season, which is the whole season review in a whole, which will be um, me reviewing Aberdeen, the Betfred Cup, the Scottish Cup and the league this year. Just going through the vital games and maybe what we could have done more, maybe what we did well. So that'll be going up in the next few days. So yeah, as I said, let me know down in the comments what you think of the whole GMS thing and who you want to play in the Europa League draw. Okay, so I'm Aberdeen Fan TV, and there'll be a reaction video going up to see who we get in the Europa League first qualifying round tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.